Hello, Bobby Torres of Frightbox Recording here with a short and to the point video uh, showing you how you can move your session from one DAW to another. Um, just recently, I did a mini series where I collaborated with Mr. Cameron Flurry, who's a great drummer. Um, and here's the thing, I'm a Pro Tools user and Cameron is a Reaper user. So in the video series, I kind of showed you our workflow from moving from Pro Tools to Reaper, but I still received some additional questions, uh, for example, on how to move your tempo map over to another DAW. So I decided to make this quick video just to show you in detail how I accomplished this, because these days, here's the thing, everyone uses a different DAW. Some people use Reaper, some people use Pro Tools, uh, Studio One, Logic. I feel like every time I collaborate with someone, <laughs> they're always using another DAW that maybe I don't own. So in this video, Right here, I have a very basic session. Now it's just the raw audio. When I say move your session, I don't mean move all your plugin settings. I mean just taking the raw audio so you can collaborate with another musician or another engineer or whatever, uh, even though they're using a different DAW. And um, again, you wanna be able to move all of your raw audio over as well as all of your markers and your tempo map. And right here, I have a session that I have prepped for members of the Frightbox Mix Crypt, where we mix a new song every month. And uh, the thing is, again, most of the members don't use Pro Tools, and I'm using Pro Tools. So I have to prep this session for them so they could download the files and mix them with ease. Now, the first thing I want to say is that when it comes to file prep, organization is everything. If you look here, I have how many tracks? 30 tracks, they're all numbered, and they're named very specifically. Kick, Snare, Snare Down, Rack Tom, so on and so forth. As you can see, we have my guitar tracks here, Marshall left, Marshall right, and all of my vocal tracks. And they're also numbered. And they're all consolidated on the exact same timeline. In other words, all of the files are starting in the exact same place on my timeline. Sometimes beginners will export tracks and all of their files are starting at different points in the timeline. And there's no way to line that up later in another DAW. So you wanna make sure that all of your files are whole files starting at the exact same point in time. And as you can see here, all of my files are starting at bar one, beat one, there are no edits, all of my fades have been consolidated and taken care of and we're working with whole files. Always keep that in mind. Now that right there is the easy part. The tricky part is what do you do when you're working with a session that has tempo changes? So as you can see, this song starts at 155 BPM, and then at a certain point, let's see, around the bridge, it becomes 162 BPM, then 159, and then 155. Now, in this example, we're gonna be moving over to Reaper. The only way to export this tempo map is to export a simple universal MIDI file. Now, in this session, there are no MIDI instruments. This is all live audio, live drums, live guitars, vocals. So what we need to do is we need to create a MIDI track, and this goes for any DAW. If you're going from Reaper to Cubase or Studio One to Logic, it's the exact same process. So again, this is universal. Just in this video, we're going from Pro Tools to Reaper, but you'll be following the same system regardless of the DAW you're using. So I'm gonna create a new MIDI track, and here's the thing. This MIDI track right now has nothing on it. So first I'm gonna rename it Tempo Map, and I'm just gonna place a random note on bar one, beat one, uh, on this MIDI track. So it creates a MIDI file. So if you look here, we have this simple MIDI track, just one MIDI note. And the reason why I did that is that way I can export a universal MIDI file that's gonna have the tempo map baked into the file. So I'm gonna go up to file, I have my track highlighted here. I'm gonna go up to file, export MIDI. I'm gonna click okay. And for now, I'll just save it to my desktop and I'm gonna name it tempo map. And that's it as far as the exporting process is concerned. Now let's jump over to Reaper and uh, let's look at how we can import our multi-tracks and our tempo map and markers into Reaper from Pro Tools. Okay, so here we are in Reaper. I have a blank session and as you can see, I don't have any audio. I don't have any MIDI, no tempo map, nothing. What I like to do when I'm importing uh, multi-tracks into a fresh DAW session, regardless of the DAW I'm using, I like to right off the bat import the tempo map. So remember, we've already prepped that MIDI file that contains the tempo map 
and markers. So in Reaper, I'm gonna go to insert media file. Here I am on my desktop, on my computer. I'm gonna select that tempo map that we've prepped and exported from Pro Tools in the form of a MIDI file, and I'm going to import it. And Reaper's giving us some options. It's asking us if we wanna import all 12 markers, and it wants to know if we wanna import our MIDI tempo map to our project, and we definitely do. That's the whole point of this MIDI file. So I'm gonna click OK. And here we are, we have all of our markers and tempo changes imported into Reaper. As you can see, 155, just like in Pro Tools, 162, 159, and then back to 155 at the end of the song. So now, because I've created whole files back in Pro Tools that all start at the same beginning of the song, bar one, beat one, I'm gonna dig into my old audio files folder. And here we are, here are all of my files. I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna drag them into Reaper. Now Reaper's asking us if we wanna stick all of the files onto separate tracks or onto a single track. We definitely want separate tracks. And as you could see, because my files were nice and organized and numbered, I literally created the exact same session that I had in Pro Tools over in Reaper and everything has lined up. And as you could see, all of my drum hits are lining up with my tempo map, which means that my tempo map imported without a hitch. All of my audio files have imported without a problem. And I literally have the exact same session that I had over in Pro Tools in Reaper. And again, this can be accomplished regardless of the DAW you're using. Just remember the quickest way, in my opinion, to move one tempo map over to a different DAW is to create a universal MIDI file. Any DAW can read a basic MIDI file. That's why I like to use that approach. And that's the exact same technique and approach that most pro producers use. And remember, organization and file management and being very organized and numbering your files and being clear with labeling is everything when it comes to collaborating and moving between different DAWs. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you're collaborating with other producers, more than likely you're gonna be dealing with, you know, using more than one DAW. And this is the way that you wanna handle your file management and being able to transport your different tempo maps and markers. So please let me know, do you work with multiple DAWs? Do you collaborate with other engineers that use a DAW that maybe you don't use? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion. Now, if you're interested in having access to multiple sets of multi-tracks and learning how to mix a new song every single month, be sure to join the Frightbox MixCrypt waitlist. You'll be the first to be notified when the doors to the membership reopen. A new song every month, new set of multi-tracks, as well as a supportive community made up of like-minded engineers where we help each other out and critique each other's mixes. Again, if this sounds interesting to you, join the waitlist. You're not going to want to miss when it reopens. And until next time, happy mixing.